5. New information tonight in the shooting death of a 15-year-old this week in the Bronzeville neighborhood. The teenage suspect, who was on electronic monitoring at the time, appeared in court today. WGN's Alyssa Donovan has more from the Cook County Criminal Court building. 15-year-old Michael Brown was shot and killed in the 3300 block of South Prairie Street on Tuesday. The prosecutor is arguing that 16-year-old Anthony Brown was the shooter. The prosecutor asking that Brown be held without bond today after outlining the details of what occurred on Tuesday. According to the prosecutor, Brown was wearing an ankle monitor related to previous charges of carjacking and possession of a firearm. That ankle monitor's GPS tracked the teen's movement the day of the shooting, allegedly placing him at the scene of the carjacking and the scene of Michael Brown's murder. The prosecutor says Brown ordered a lift around 2 p.m. Once in the vehicle, he held a gun to the driver's head and ordered him to get out. The 39-year-old lift driver complied and Brown drove off in the vehicle. The teen then drove to South Prairie Street, where 15-year-old Michael Brown was walking home from school. The suspect got out of the vehicle, walked up to Brown, shot him in the head, and then continued to shoot him nine times after the boy was on the ground. He then got back in the passenger side of the vehicle, and the second suspect, who was now driving, sped away. The prosecutor says there's video surveillance of the shooting. The suspect shown matching Brown's description and the clothing he was wearing that day. Along with the GPS from Brown's ankle bracelet, the prosecutor also noted the hijacked vehicle was seen on 26 cameras along the route from where the hijacking occurred to where young Michael Brown was shot. When police found the vehicle, a handgun was found next to Brown inside. The prosecutor says the weapon matched the shell casings found at the scene of the fatal shooting. Andrew Holmes, who works in the community to stop violent crime, says more needs to be done to help children and teens before they get pulled into the system. We have to help them, but if we don't help them, and then we got a system just letting them come in and come back out, we're going to have babies here shot dead in a bloodshed this year if we don't put a stop to it.